Hi, I work at the Asylum Seeker Advocacy Project, or ASAP. In this video, I'm going to explain what we know so far about the U.S. government's announcement that some asylum seekers who are waiting in Mexico under MPP will soon be able to enter the United States. Starting on February 19, 2021, the United States will start processing some asylum seekers who have been forced to wait in Mexico under MPP, which is the Migrant Protection Protocols Program and is also known as Remain in Mexico. The exact way that people will be allowed to enter is still unknown, and the process will not happen all at once. This is part of President Biden's announced goal to gradually end MPP, which has prevented many asylum seekers from entering the United States while their asylum cases are pending in U.S. immigration courts. If you told a U.S. immigration officer that you were afraid to return to your country and you were sent back to Mexico to wait for your U.S. immigration court hearings, you are an MPP and this change may affect you. For now, the U.S. government has announced that it will first prioritize asylum seekers whose asylum cases are actively pending before a U.S. immigration court. Two, prioritize asylum seekers who have been waiting for the longest amount of time and are in vulnerable or dangerous situations. Three, use a system where people will be able to register to receive information about next steps. Four, Notify asylum seekers when they should present at the border. Five, implement this plan at specific ports of entry along the U.S.-Mexico border. Six, work with organizations to ensure that asylum seekers receive a COVID-19 test before allowing them into the U.S. And seven, allow asylum seekers who meet the health and safety requirements into the U.S. without detaining them and help transfer their cases to the immigration courts where they will live. We still do not know what the process will be like for people who are in Mexico who do not have a case pending before an immigration court in the U.S. For example, like people whose cases were denied, people who received a deportation order for not being able to attend their scheduled immigration court hearing, people who are still on waiting lists, or people who are just newly arriving to the border. For now, the U.S. government is still not allowing asylum seekers to enter the United States and is turning them away at the border or deporting them to their countries of origin. For more information and helpful links, click on the link below this video. Thank you for watching, and we hope that this information was helpful.